Well, you see, I'm here with a springboard. And there was this pipe here. And I'm not sure if I saw this pipe or not. Because I did go, like, up pretty much at all times. It was the only pipe in the level that I could find. That I saw. Uh, so... I mean, easy, easy feather route. And it does give me the blue switch. However, I would like to point out that the blue switch would have acted like the goal, like the normal goal. So it would still require me, it would still require me uh, to go through this level. Uh, in the normal way. Can I not... Ooh, can I not wall jump when I'm feathered? Also, this is a feather. I learned that. I learned. Also, I'm gonna pop that guy. I don't know if I actually got all of the dragon ones or not. No, no, I can. It just doesn't... I don't... I don't hold on to the wall. Okay. Anyway, ignoring all of this and going this way, because there is the thing down here. What does that give me? I'm betting it's going to give me a bonus. Bonus. Three moons. There we go. Now, as I said, the switch acts like the goal. The goal acts like the goal. The other goal <laughs> would act like the goal. I don't... I don't fully get it. I've mentioned this already that I don't fully understand and get how the exit system in this game works because it is purely uh, purely like a single goal but it's not always the main goal sometimes it's the like secret exit goal and it just doesn't flow very well really doesn't. My jump did not jump. You know, I, I've already, I've already committed atrocities to mankind. I might as well continue with my atrocities to mankind. Now, most people, when they see this, they would be like, ah, oh, let's get the uh, star. Me? <laughs> no. Cake. Cake for me, please. I had one. I had two. I lost them because I am not very smart. But we will we will try. We will try yet again. And I will take your shell, my green scaly friend, to get another feather. I'm kind of wondering just how just how long this game is. Uh, because we haven't been to Icy Palace. But I think that's directly after this. So there's a castle, and then Icy Land, and Star Road. So maybe we're almost done? The Garden Light. I think that's, like... Oh no, I'm, I'm kind of wanting to, because, uh, so, I mean, I've, I've mentioned this before. I, I have my own project things. Huh. Ha, huh, weird. Um, I have my own project things going on in the background. And... I, I keep thinking of different ways to do them, to go about them. 
And some of some of the ways is like super simple. Like, oh, how do I want to do the overworld? Do I want to do like an actual overworld? I've I've kind of also thought about like, ooh, maybe maybe to be a tad different. Hmm, I, I don't don't understand that. Um, but I'm also like, mm, maybe to be a t little tad different than normal game, frick. Uh, maybe I should like do something super neat and have like a hand-drawn map style. And I'm like, you know what? Other some other people have done that, so I wouldn't be like super unique. It would look nice. It would, but I would not be super unique in my uh, dealings with how it works, or how it would look, whatever. Whatever I'm trying to say. So, I don't know, I'm kind of torn. I'm kind of torn, like, how to do the world map, but I kinda, I kinda like I kind of like having the uh, names of the levels not on the level dots themselves, but in like a splash screen. That way you could have like a longer name of a level. I kind of like that. So I'm thinking maybe that's how I do it. Because I, I like the splash screen. But at the same time, it's kind of like doesn't feel like it's needed. Um, okay. Ooh, boy. So, I, I don't know if my mouse is showing up on screen. I have realized that it is still on the play area. I don't know if it's actually showing up. Probably not, because I think I have uh, Bandicam set to uh, not show mouse, which is the best option. In fact, I'm looking at it right now. It is it is set up to not show mouse cursor. Also, I kind of think Mario is placed in the wrong spot right there. I mean, maybe not. Maybe you are supposed to just be in harm's way. Uh, but, I don't know. Ah, these, like, tiny jumps are fairly awful. Uh, do you joke? Do you say joke? Okay. Sure, I say joke. Danger, danger! Uh, okay. Uh, this is just normal Lemmy? Normal Lemmy with, is it Lemmy? Wendy, Lemmy, yeah, Wendy. Uh, I don't remember his name. I think it's just standard, standard Lemmy. Also, there are, there was no midpoint again. I, this game is so it's just like they're either there are or there aren't and it really bothers me that there are like no midpoints I hate you I hate you why I my atrocities against mankind are just evolving because I'm getting frustrated with this game It's really easy to do without rewinds. Just the big thing is there's no midway point and I'd have to replay the entirety of the level again. And that just does not sound that fun to me. There should be a midway point somewhere. In my opinion, you either do or you don't with midpoints. You either have them or you don't have them. And maybe you have like special cases where all levels except castles have them. Or 
you know, maybe it's not even that. I don't know why I went into this level because I didn't mean to. Um, but yeah, let's just say all levels except castles have them, or you, every level has them except for the special world. You know, something like that. Something that's consistent. When it's so inconsistent like this, it's just very frustrating. 